What's up guys? Today we're going to learn Good For You by Olivia Rodrigo. We've got three different guitar parts to learn to play this entire song. So let's get into it. Alright, so we're going to start off with the intro and the verse. That's the part that's just this little instrumental. So this part is pretty simple, it's actually played on a bass guitar, but we're going to play it on our normal guitar here. And this part is played for all of the verses and the intro. So you're starting off just on this E string and alternating between the open and the second fret. So you're playing that little riff three times, and then after that you're moving up to the fifth fret and the fourth fret on the A string. So all together. Now what I'm doing here to make this a little more interesting and add a little more groove to it is palm muting most of the notes and then adding a few little chugga chuggas in between some of them. Just to kind of keep that rhythm. Because you don't have any drums with you and it's just you playing a guitar, sometimes it's fun to add a little bit of percussion on there and that's why I add these little chuggas. Just to kind of keep that rhythm a little more steady. And I'm not really doing them in any particular pattern, I'm just kind of doing it how it feels nicely to keep a steady rhythm. And that's really all there is to play the verse. You can play that for all of the verses and the intro in the song. Okay, now we're moving to the next part of the song, which is the chorus. So this is a nice big full strumming pattern. And it's going to sound like this. What I'm doing here is going from a D to an A to an E, all standard chords, and then throwing on this F sharp minor, which is a bar chord. That one's a little trickier, but if you struggle, you can just play it with the top three strings. And if you can get that full bar chord, then you can play all six strings. So moving between these chords, slowed down, it sounds like this. Even a little bit slower. D, A, E, F sharp minor, E, and then back to the start. And then that should get you that full pattern there. So try that out. Listen to it more than trying to count it out too much. You'll get the feel a lot better by just trying to listen and mimic me than trying to count it out specifically. It's a little bit of an offbeat rhythm, which means we're not always changing on that one beat. So this one is just going to be easier to learn by listening. But that's how you can play every chorus section. Now one other way you can do it, because this actual song is played with an electric guitar, is to play the power chord, which will give it a little bit more of a rock feel. So if we're playing these power chord forms, which is just first finger, then third finger, and pinky, that's your shape. We're just going to switch this shape between our four chords here. These are the same chords in different positions as we we're playing down here. So we've got a D on the fifth fret of the A string, A on the fifth fret of the sixth string, or E string, then moving up to an E on the seventh fret of the fifth string, and then that F sharp minor, or just an F sharp bar chord, is on that ninth fret of the fifth string. And then you can just play the exact same rhythm. So 
So you can play that or you can play the full chords. Whichever one you want will work for you. If you want a more rocky feel, go with the power chords. If you want a more open strumming acoustic feel, go with the full chords. And that's how you can play the entire chorus. So then moving into our third and final section of the song, this is the instrumental that's played after the choruses. So you've got your chorus strumming pattern. You can hear how I played that instrumental section after the chorus ends. All we're doing is power chord shape on the second fret. Then we're moving to an open power chord. You can play it like that or like that. I recommend this version because it's easier. And then we're going up to the second fret of that A string. So those are our three chords. And then our rhythm is just A little bit faster at the speed of the actual song, it would sound like this. And you can play this one a little bit of aggressively because it is actually a pretty high energy rock song. So you don't you don't have to be super clean with everything. You can add a little bit of rock to it. And that right there is the instrumental section that's played after the choruses. So now with that, you have the verse, you have the chorus, and you have this instrumental. So with those parts, you can play the entire song. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Please hit that thumbs up button and say hi in the comments. Subscribe and hit that bell notification. And I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Light fell out. <laughs>